Aurelia, another change. Base health up by 40. What the f Is she gonna be a tank level 1 now? Base HP region goes down to 6. And passive bout duration goes down by 1 second. So again, these changes are the same as before. They make Aurelia arguably better in elite level and worse in low MMR. Because again, changes like this, having your passu have an uptime, this is better used in hands of challenger players and master players and whatever. And then again, health region is the low elo skewed stat. Health, yeah, early game skewed, so more of a high elo thing. Okay, cool. Then we have a Yasuo change. Yasuo E damage is gonna go base up by 10 to 130. Scaling is gonna be removed. AP scaling is gonna be the same. And then bonus damage per cast is going to be 25% at all ranks. So if I'm reading this correctly, Yasuo E is just pretty much doing shit up way more damage, especially in lane. Wow, that's gonna, that's gonna, that's gonna matter a lot, honestly. That's gonna matter a lot. That's, that's gonna be crazy. I think his E is gonna do a lot of damage now in early game. Wow, okay. Sure, sure. Yon Q damage, E max Yasuo comeback. I doubt it. I doubt this is enough to make Emacs come back. Maybe three points, maybe three points into Q. I don't know. Young Q damage. Base is gonna go up by 20. So this is gonna be now same as Yasuo Q. Okay, that's cool. Total AD scaling is gonna go down by 5%. Crit modifier is gonna go down. This stacks with his passive. X 0.9 crit modifier. This means total AD scaling from crits is 147 to 140. Okay. So his crit modifier is going to be worse. I don't know if this crit modifier is the same as Yasuo's. I assume it's not. I assume Yasuo has a better one. All right. W shield duration will go back to one second. So a while ago, Riot made it so his W shield duration was 1.5 because originally it was one. And 1.5 shield duration on Yon W made it so Yon was basically just more brain dead to play because he could block a lot of more damage even though he would fuck up the timing and he could like tank tower shots. Now this is gonna make a huge difference because Yon will not be even be able to like tank tower shots anymore that much. I mean, I mean th this is this is gonna take a while for people to get used to again back to the old version. But yeah, okay, interesting. This is a pretty big nerf. E cooldown is gonna go down by four seconds, which is I don't know. I mean, early game centric buff, right? This is an ability max second. Probably this E buff is probably a little bit better on mid lane to be fair. And then the R cooldown is gonna be 20 seconds more late game. What the f I don't really know where we're going with Yon. So, okay, so the way I see this is first nine levels, the champion is better. Unless maybe this is a little bit worse, but still, you get more AD. Uh, at level nine, you have a bigger spike now. Unless maybe this is a little bit worse, but still, you get more AD. Uh, at level nine, you have a bigger spike now. And you get E cooldown reduced in lane a lot. But then mid to late game, he's probably just worse, right? He's probably just worse with all these changes. Like once you're like level 13 into the game, I would just say he's worse. So honestly, I don't really know where we're going with these own changes. We have Zat. What the f*** is Rad doing to Zat? Base damage on Q is going up to 240. What the f*** are they smoking? Are they retard? Are they stupid? Base AD scaling down by 10%. I don't know why they do this, man. I don't know why they do this. It should be the opposite, man. You should give him a better scale and less base damage. Incentivize that. Promote him to snowball. So he uses gold better. Like, I hate it. These type of changes may just make it so that players buy the orange shield, AFK at tower, get like level 9, and then they're like 30 TS down 1v1, and then they fucking all in you, and they just kill you. Like, wh wh what is this? What is this? E cooldown is gonna be 4 seconds at all ranks, so I guess this incentivizes Zat to max W second a bit more. E cost is gonna go up by 10, okay, so that's definitely gonna matter because Zat can have energy issues, uh, especially if he doesn't combo well and especially if without a blue. And then the R cooldown is also gonna be up by 20 in late game. Wow, Riot is making a lot of these champions have long cooldowns in late game. That is interesting. That is interesting. I mean, actually, I mean, this makes it so he's a little bit more reliant on maybe buying action mark. But yeah. Overall, I mean, are these buffs to the champion? I would say also the E gets 
the E random, also I forgot to read this, like the E random it just gets like free damage also. I, I don't know, to me this looks like buffs. It, it, like, Q is just better, E is just straight up better. L like what, this, this has to be buffs, like maybe it's gonna take some time for people to get used to 10 more energy and whatever, but come on, this, this just has to be buffs. Like what, what is this? Bro, Zad's ban rate is gonna go up to 90% or what?